I am Adrian Clark. I am a director of Textile and Composite Industries Proprietary Limited. And I am the developer of a revolutionary new harvesting decortication system. We have developed a farm-based hemp decorticator system to perform the essential first step in the processing of hemp for industrial uses. The decorticator separates the bast fibre from the woody herd. Our system processes unretted hemp. It can be processed while the plant stem is fresh and green standing in the field. It can be processed as stooped sheaves. It can be processed from bales. This is an ideal hemp field in Hastings, England. It can be processed green and fresh, as it is, or dry. It does not need to be retted to be processed with our system. These stooks are in Italy. These stacks of stooks are in China. And these bales are in Yorkshire. Our decorticator system will unlock the vast commercial potential for a new and valuable agricultural fibre industry that actually absorbs carbon dioxide and locks it away more efficiently than forests can. Our decorticator is the tool that converts that carbon storage into continuous carbon storage within products. Our decorticator system does the first and most critical value-adding step. That is, the step of separating the fibre from the inner woody stem material. This can be done before any product, either herd or fibre, leaves the farm. We believe our decorticator system is the key to the modern global hemp industry. The old traditional methods require the hemp to be retted. Field retting is done in the field by leaving the cut stem on the soil for many weeks. The stem must be turned frequently so that field funguses can eat away the gums in an even manner. Unfortunately, much of the fibre is also lost during this process. It is an uncertain process subject to the weather. The whole crop can be lost if the weather is too wet and it cannot be processed by traditional methods if the weather is too dry. Even successful retting will lose up to 50% of the fibre and it will leave the fibre stained either grey or brown. An alternative for the warmer climates is water retting. It is done by leaving the bundles of stem in water for weeks on end so that water bacteria eats the gum away. Either retting, water or field retting, can take many weeks and much of the fibre is damaged, stained or lost. Our method does not need retting. Our method extracts virtually all of the valuable fibre in an undamaged condition. It can be degummed for textiles within 24 hours or it can be used immediately it is dry in composite materials. During the high speed decortication process the secondary stem material called herd or shives is made into a usable granular cellulose resource. The fibre from our system is extremely strong and light for composite materials. 
the fibre from our system is undamaged and it can be spun on standard cotton spinners and made into fine textiles for furnishings and quality apparel. The herd can be used for paper pulp and for a range of building materials such as the world-renowned hempcrete. Hempcrete is famous throughout Europe, Canada and the United Kingdom for its extraordinary insulation qualities for new houses. It can also be used for retrofitting effective insulation in existing and older buildings. Our decorticator is designed to be small enough to be installed into a harvester so that the harvesting and decortication is done in the same processing step. This reduces handling, shortens production time and dramatically reduces production costs. This is our first prototype harvesting decorticator used in Yorkshire. These are static decorticators used in China. This is another form of this static D8 machine being used on bales hemp. Today, March the 3rd, 2012, we have set up the commercial production size D8 decorticator in a frame to process the stem from a short seed crop grown in Victoria, Australia. The crop is short because it was planted at the end of the season for the purpose of bulking up seed. Normally the stem would be considered too short to be processed by ordinary methods. We are establishing today the fibre content of the stem and its qualities. During setup and tuning small samples of this short stem were fed into the machine via a chute. This is the D8 in action powered by a farmer's tractor. Shaking a bit. Yep. yep. That's a board. That looks like a success. Yeah, what I was that's expecting. That's absolutely a success. Yeah. Can you pick yeah. any bloody um, fat hen? No. No, we haven't put that in yet. Yeah, it's gone through. Yeah. See, if that lands on the straw, because most of what's in there shakes out, and what doesn't shake out comes out in the next textile machine. Just drops out. Just drops out. Yeah. Out there. there you go. Yeah, where's that's the what you're interested in. Yeah, mate. <laughs> it's all green, green shit in there. It's because all the leaves and stuff. All the leaves and stuff get chopped up in the same way. Yeah. The, the thing that I question, um, 
But this is so mm. moist. Where's the no. oh, And you've got to put it into a bag and seal it right away. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Well, it's when it's, it's, when it's an immature crop, it's even wetter than that. Which you can then add a yeast to and turn into a very nice beer. Now, mm. if the crop was fatter, say half an inch, the herd spit out and you got that? Now, if this was an immature crop, that herd would break more readily. Uh, uh, really? Knitting that fast. Now that the high fibre quality and quantity of the fibre in this short seed crop has been established as a valuable resource, we will proceed to harvest and process the total crop. First it will be stripped of its seed. Then the stem will be baled and the bales will be unrolled into this decorticating machine. The herd will be used in a local building in Victoria and the fibre will be available for further processing into textiles and also for composite material production such as car parts, shipping pallets and furnishings. The decorticator will be installed in a harvester during the next few months so that it is prepared for large production projects in the next summer growing season. If you have further inquiries, please contact me, Adrian Clark.